Morning, this is Pat Walker, Mission Winners, doing a video overview of the ETFs. Now, why do we look at the ETFs? This is very important. It's not because we like to look at a ton of charts. It's because we have a limited amount of time. So why don't we use it wisely? Looking at the ETFs shows us where there's potential strength in industry sectors, but also areas of weakness, areas to avoid. Opposite sides of the same coin, but both sides are both sides are really powerful up for us making better decisions. So here's the IBD 50. And you can see it fell really hard last week. This is weekly on the left and daily on the right. And then bounce back here, okay? And you can see it's bounced back here a little bit also. Needs to maybe form some kind of a base, right? Not a clean entry at this point in time. It did show a little power here. What was missing though? Not a lot of volume compared to selling volume. Here, look at the weekly. That's why I love weekly and daily. Look at the sell selling volume on the weekly and then this week that just ended. Well, it's a lot less than here. It's less than here and here. Not being negative, just pointing out with the IBD 50, which is not a criticism, it's a great proxy of the lead leading indexes or the leading stocks. We need to see more power. Let's move on. Here we go. Gold miners are picking up a little bit. You can see this base right here and it's working and it's hanging up in here too. Looks, looks decent. Is there a clean entry right here? Not really. And here's a great education. We teach this in Mission Winners. It gapped up, ran up, and closed near the lows. It's a selling bar, all right? It's a red bar. So you can say, well, this is a green bar. It's good. It closed up versus the previous close, but it closed below where it opened. It needs to show a little bit more power, but it doesn't look that bad, okay? I mean, it's an area to consider. It's not in a downtrend. It's basing up here. Just trying to help you here. Let's move on here. There's gold. Look at gold basing. We own this down lower, okay, and it's working. And you can see this base right here that's forming. Maybe take this out, but what does it need? It needs to lift through these tops right here. I'll draw the line for you to help. Just clean tops here. But what does it need to do? Lift through these tops with really good volume. There we go. And until that happens, we have the discipline to wait. Decent base. But note, there's some selling here and here. And it needs to overcome that. Buying volume, the up volume is less than the down volume recently. There you go. Let's continue onwards. In one second, it tells you. I mean, it's that simple, folks. We don't have to overthink it. Stay away from biotech. Look at the weekly. Look at the daily. No power. Move on. Oil and gas basing here doesn't look too bad, all right? And you could say, and this is another good lesson, just because it's a red bar doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad bar. If you notice, it fell, but it closed in the top third of its range on a slight pickup in volume. Is there a clean entry here? No, but it does tell us the group is still in play. Move on. Expanded software technology. This doesn't look so good, folks. Look at the weekly, look at the daily. There's not a lot of power there. Be careful with software. Medicine, be careful with medicine. Look at that. Medicine needs some medicine. Nothing really great there. Okay, continue onwards. Aerospace and defense, it's chopping around here. I mean, you know, it goes down, goes up, closes down on that bar, gaps up, reverses down, unless, but it's loose. Loose bars, loose charts indicate high investor emotions, lack of conviction. Any sign of weakness and they sell it. This needs to settle down. Be cautious with it at this point in time. Let's continue onwards. Home construction's lagging. It's below the 50-day. I taught at the IBD meetups for 12 years, and one of the things I said every month, the air is better above a rising 50-day. This is below a rising 50-day. It needs to show some more power. So what does that say? Be careful with home building stocks. Done. Move on. S&P 500 growth, it's, it's starting to push through here, okay? But it needs to see some real power over here. And that's a bad data bar here too. Let me see if I can refresh that real quick. I'll have to edit that. Okay, but looking at the daily, you can see loose needs to get over the 50 day, needs to get over the 50 day on volume. Now I'm gonna give you another good lesson. You look at this bar right here, it's a red bar and it closed near the lows, not a good bar. You can say, well, that's a red bar too, but it closed near the highs. Always take note, admission winners, we teach this. Look at the open, the high, the low and the close. And it's not rocket science. Oh, if it closes near the highs, I guess it's a decent bar. Yes, it is. There you go. If it closes near the lows, it's a sloppy bar. There we go. <clears throat> or a less powerful bar. 
Small caps, IWM's picking up a little bit, but it's still below the 50-day. This needs to show some power, okay? There are some tops right here, but it's going to have, have some real power in small caps. Real estate, no power there, leave it alone. I mean, it's just, oh, maybe, maybe. Why play the maybe game? I just showed you some sectors that look good, and this one doesn't. Let's move on. Here we go. Transportation lagging, leave it alone. I mean, it hit lows for the move this week. And look at how it closed Friday. It closed near the lows on a pickup in volume. It's met with selling pressure. What does that say? Stay away from transportation stocks. There you go. Here we go. Airlines, yeah, chopping around a little bit there. You know, it goes up, they take it down again. I mean, falls hard here, lifts up. It's loose. Loose charts indicate high investor emotions, as I stated earlier. Be careful with that. Let's move on. Mid cap's picking up. It's forming a little base here. It would be nice to see mid cap. And I'm not saying it's going to. I said it would be nice. If we could take out those tops with volume, what would that tell us? Now, there's strength in mid cap stocks too. So far, not a lot of strength. We'll have to watch and see. Oil services, eh, there's some selling here. There's a spot right here, but what does it need to do? And this is for everybody. Needs to take out these tops, which would also correspond with taking out the 21 EMA, which is the blue line. And it's going to need to do it with volume. But if you notice, there is some distribution in here. So it's going to have to really show some power, price and volume. Pharmaceuticals, they need drugs. There's nothing. I mean, it's lifting up, but it's way below the fall in 50 day. Leave it alone. Bitcoin, just chopping around. Okay. Uh, it's kind of a loose pattern here. Be careful with that. Okay. Not a clean entry on that. QLD started to pick up here a little bit on Friday with a pickup in volume. That's good to see. Has a higher low setup, maybe it'll lift. What's one slight negative? It's below the falling 50 day. Also last week or two weeks ago, it fell on heavy volume and it lifted up this week on less volume. It's gonna to need to show some power. Power is measured by price action, good price action, backed by good volume pickup. QLD, QQQ, same situation, needs to show a little bit more power. You can see there's some distribution in here starting to pick up. At least it's a start, though. It's a start. That's good. Retail, stay away. <clears throat> there's nothing here. Just leave it alone. It's like, oh, maybe it's bounce. Look at all the overhead supply. It's dropping here. And it, look, look at the weekly. It fell on heavy volume three weeks. Oh, it rallied this week on less volume than it fell on. Two weeks ago, it fell on 26.7 million shares. 15.1. A little bit more than half. There's no power, leave it alone with retailers. There we go. Silver's looking decent. This had a good move here and it's basing right here. Notice this, support on the rising 21 day. Note the volume pickup. This could be a potential buy. It's aggressive though, because it's a pullback setup. It's not a base breakout. What would be our entry? Just take out the highs of this bar at 2530. SLV, 2530. Now, if you were taking notes, there was one other that I mentioned. What was it? GLD. Do you see how you can connect the dots? GLD looks decent. SLV looks decent. But it needs real power because it did gap down here on a pickup in volume. So be careful with that. All right. Also, big reversal bar here. In other words, there's potential here, but this is not as high a probability setup as other patterns. Just pointing that out. Steel, nothing there. Leave it alone. Semiconductors picking up a little bit. Needs to show some more power here over the 50 day. There was some serious selling in here. Look at the weekly selling volume. The buying volume here was less than the selling volume a week ago. So it's picking up, but there's not a really clean entry with semiconductors. So just be careful with that. Spiders are picking up a little bit. The S&P 500. I always look at the spiders and the Qs, or SSO and QLD. I look at them numerous times during the day just to see what's happening. And what do I look at? Daily charts, just daily charts. I'm not fine tuning it down to five. I, I never look at five minutes. So that's just me. Too much emotion in five minute charts. Here we go. Lifting up here a little bit, but on less volume. What's it really need to do? Be nice to see some power here and then a push through the 50 day on SPY. And what would that tell us? That the rally is strengthening, spreading out. We'll see what happens. SSO, same situation. Decent close on Friday. But I'd like to see some more power, okay, on SSO, just like SPY. But it does say it has a higher low. Perhaps it's going to start picking up. But again, we need some good price action and volume. 
Solar, there's nothing there. Leave it alone. By the way, when I do that, I'm not trying to be cute and funny. There's nothing there. Look at the chart. It's below all the moving averages. It's falling. There's no up power in it. Nothing. Leave it alone. Look at the weekly. There's nothing there. That's what's beautiful about what we do at Mission Winners. We know how to read the charts. We don't have to impose our will on it. Price and volume will tell us what to do. Let's move on. Small caps, still lagging. I mean, it's, it's below all the moving averages. It's underperforming. Be careful with small caps. Oil, picking up a little bit here, but not a lot, all right? Not, not the greatest setup in the world. I will say, though, if this could start to curl up, it may form a cup with a handle. On the weekly, we'll see, all right? Biotech, stay away. There's another biotech ETF. I mean, look, it's in the down. Leave it alone. There's nothing to do with it. One of the things that's important, and I taught this at the IBD meetups also, it's important to know areas to potentially follow, look at, study, and it's just as important to know areas to avoid. There we go. And less is better. Less, fewer stocks to watch equal better focus, and I like that. Home builders picking up a little bit, but still kind of choppy. Some distribution in here, not a lot of accumulation. Be careful with that. Home building stocks don't like rising interest rates, by the way. How do you build home building? You need materials. Materials picking up a little bit, okay? Not the cleanest setup, though. Just be a little careful with that. Communication services, most likely, well, that might be a bad bar. Let's check this. Maybe it's not. No, I think maybe that's right. Big gap up. There must have been news on this bar. What was it? I don't know. Maybe it was Meta. I'm not sure, but we can find it. Oh, here's a helpful, helpful input for you. You can find out, just go on Google and find out their top 10 holdings, XLC, top 10 holdings. You'll see which stock did this. There you go. It's kind of loose here. Be careful with that, with communication or with communication services. Let's continue onwards. Energy's picking up a little bit. Okay. Starting to pick up. This isn't that bad of a bar. There's some tops across here. Needs to maybe take that out with energy. And it's going to need a good market. And it's going to need a good lift, good price lift with volume. There we go. Financials, kind of picking up, but a little choppy. Be careful with that. Industrials, it's okay, but not great. Be careful. Technology's lagging. I mean, look at this. This is a little bit above the rising 50-day, the green line. Here's technology. It's below the falling 50-day. It's below the falling 21-day. This needs to charge to lose some power. What does it tell us? It's simple. Don't get overly aggressive in technology stocks. There we go. It's power for us to know that. Consumer staples picking up. I do like this longer base right here on the weekly, as you can see, but it ran up and it tailed off pretty hard here and it tailed off pretty hard here. Needs to show some power through there, all right, on consumer staples. You could punch up XLP and see what leading stocks are in the group. Healthcare, stay away. Healthcare, they need some shots or something like that. There's no power there. Just lead, stay away from healthcare stocks, done. There we go. Consumer discretionary, really lagging. Stay away from consumer healthcare, done. You don't have to overthink it, all right? Metals and mining, it's underperforming. There's not a lot of power. Be careful with it. There's another oil and gas basing, it's okay. It's all right. You can see. By the way, what was the last ETF that I said looked good? XLE, energy related. Here's another one. So something maybe if it could lift off the 21 day, which is the blue line, and do it with volume. And it closed decent on the weekly. All right. Just for what it's worth. Always remember this. This is a this is an this is a foundation that works. Leading groups, leading stocks. It works. Leading groups, leading stocks. Focus on that, turn off the noise. It'll really help you. And I taught at the meetups for years at IBD. Here we go, retail is lagging. Look at this. There's no power here, just leave it alone, done. Here we go, software's picking up a little bit, but there's not a lot of power there, okay? So needs to start improving a little bit. Not a lot of, not a lot of strength there, just be cautious with software. And the max list stocks. Falling here on the weekly, this is Apple, by the way, bouncing here, but it's still, it's a lower low. It doesn't have a higher low setup yet. Notice it closed down on Friday. Uh, there's still not a lot of power with Apple. Be careful, all right? By the way, remember this. We have earnings coming on, things stock, on some of these stocks, folks. Know it. Earnings. Please know the dates. Know the times. Some talks report before the open, and that's a rude surprise. Amazon gapped up. Looks decent here, okay? Big gap up. Best thing you could do, and we'll have to check what earnings are too, they base a little bit here and then take off on Amazon. Something 
to watch. By the way, notice this bar. Notice how it closed on that bar? Closed near the highs. Every chart, and we talk about this in Mission Winners, look at every price and volume chart. Compare. Notice, and don't just say, oh, it's a red bar on volume. It's a selling bar. This gap down, I'm going to make this bigger for you. This is a great education. It gapped down, it fell, okay, and it closed near the highs. There was some support there, and then it bounced the next day. That's a good pattern to remember, all right? Now, do you go big on something like that if you buy? No, no. But could you go small and start some? Sure. There we go. Control risk. This is very important. Good investing is not one size fits all. Please remember that. That will help you. Let's continue onwards here. Alibaba's picking up a little bit, but look at the weekly. Look at all the overhead supply, folks. That's not good. Tons of overhead supply. It's going to be met with sellers along the way. You can say, how can you say that? Just look at the weekly. Oh, it starts to rally up. They take it down. Oh, look, it rallies up. Oh, this is the time it's going. Look at how it closed on that bar. Oh, it's starting to go again. Look at how it closed. Oh, this is the one. This is the one. Look at how it closed. Oh, maybe this is it. It's got higher low here. This low is higher than this low. This is the start. Look at how it closes. So we'll have to watch this and see what happens. Eventually it will turn, but there's a ton of overhead supply. Just be aware of that. Maybe it'll turn this week. All right. I'm not saying it will, but just we always have a plan. Baidu, same situation. And this is a great lesson. Look at how it closed. Notice where it opened. Notice where it closed. Notice where it stopped right at the fallen 50 day. What does that tell you? Be cautious. Continue onwards. Google had earnings. All right. And that was the gap up. Perhaps this will base for a couple of days and then take off. Something to maybe take into consideration is Google. I'll be careful buying it right here on Monday, but it did show strength because of earnings. MasterCard, nothing. I mean, do a compare and contrast. Oh, that lifted up. Oh, and it was above the moving averages when it broke out. MasterCard, it's below the moving averages. There's nothing there. Close your look. Just leave it alone. And I'm not, I'm not ragging on it. I'm just pointing it out. It's, if it's not there, go to the next one. Let's do it. Here we go. There's Meta. This gap down on earnings and gap down hard. Okay. We owned this back in here and here. And this was, and here, this was a great run for us. And we sold into strength. We made a video on this for our members. Selling into strength really helped us, really helped us. If you hadn't sold any, you'd still make good money, but you'd be a bit disappointed. And um, sales helped us. Nothing to do with it now. Microsoft's awfully loose here, okay? I mean, it falls down, rallies back up, falls down. It's loose. Be careful with that, okay? It needs to show power. What's power? Get back above the 50-day. Notice how it closed. In a good market day on Friday, this closed near the lows. Leave it alone for now. Done. Move on. Netflix, nothing there, leave it alone. There's nothing to do with it. It's way below the 50 day. Just leave, it'll, it'll form something sometime. NVIDIA, see this long base on the weekly? I made videos on this before it broke out. And it was loaded in, it was on the key list, and it was plowed into big time. And they all don't do this, but it sure is nice when it does. Now, what do you have here? A higher low setup, and it's starting to pick up. Gotta be aware of earnings dates on all these things. This is where it's at now. Formative base here's got price alerts set. If this starts to lift, maybe an add-on. But if we buy more, we buy less than what we own. What's the one plus? There's a couple pluses. It's a higher low setup. This low is higher than this low. It's good to train our eyes. It pushed through the 50-day. That's a plus. And it did it on a pickup in volume. And that's a plus. And it closed near the highs on that bar. I'm not trying to sell you on the idea. No. Always be careful but just pointing out things to look for to help make better investing decisions. So there's NVIDIA, we'll watch and see what happens. Continue onwards, Square, there's nothing there, leave it alone. Tesla, it's, folks, it's below the 50 day. I mean, it's, there's no leadership at this point in time. Eventually there will be again, I'm sure, but right now there's just not a lot of leadership, be careful with it. Visa, notice where it opened. What's the moral of the story? Be careful chasing gap ups. It will make a huge difference in your life. And I'm not kidding. Really nothing to do with it, so we leave it alone. Choppy. Choppy and sloppy here. Nothing. 
Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.